All right. So just a very, very quick video on the Kestrel Drop. This is the D1, the simplest one. It specifically takes temperature and temperature only. Let's see what's in here real quick. All right, real specifically on this one, it does say that temperature is the D1, humidity, the D2, pressure, the D3, and the data storage for each. This is the D1, and I'm looking on this one for temperature only. All right, so I just downloaded the app, and uh, we got the unit right here. It says to open up the back, I'm using a nickel. Nickel seems to fit just right. Pop that off, there's a pull tab. Pop that out. Uses a CR2032 battery. Again, that nickel fits right in there. According to them, once you pull that tab out, it is up and running. What's up, dog? Hey. My dog doesn't like this thing. All right, I'm going Imperial. Scanning for devices, we've got a Kestrel drop. We'll add that. Obviously it's doing things. Looks good to me. Sign up to be notified about special offers? Nah. Something about registering it? We'll skip that for now. Boom. And there's your setup. Take note that it is sitting right next to it. And I've got not quite the full uh, bars of service. I'm going to move it away. And it gets weaker. Move it closer. It gets stronger, but not perfectly, so I don't know. All right, real quick on the app. You'll see that you have the dashboard. You have your readings. It's refreshing every five seconds right now. Stats, your data logs. That is set over here, I believe. You can change the name. You have manage your live readings. Right now it's set to every five seconds. You can change that to 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or up to a minute, and down to as little as every two seconds. We'll keep it at five for now. You have your data log, which you can have every five, two, one, 30 seconds. Let's try every 10 seconds. Then a clear data spot. If I can hide this, you'll see there's a handful of things you can do. Ah, right here, under manage. And uh, one of them I noticed is, I guess if you have this out somewhere, and it's dark or you're having trouble finding it, there's an LED flash, you can hit that. And uh, it'll flash, assuming I can hit the button. All right, a couple of quick things to note. Um, if you want to be able to update this log, this information, the only way to update that log is to disconnect from the device. Come over here to manage. You hit disconnect, it asks if you're sure. Yes, I'm sure. It's now disconnected. My only one shows up right here on the screen. You uh, reconnect to that. And when you reconnect to that, it updates the log information. 
can now see it's updated a little bit further than it was a second ago. Also, uh, on the Kestrels, the, on the drops, the D1, D2, and D3, the temperature range is uh, 0 degrees to 140 degrees at the Fahrenheit. So right here on the Kestrel drop, this is the D1, the most basic one. Right here, under specs, you'll see temperature range 0 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If we go to uh, the D3, let's say the D3 fire, specs, obviously this one's a little bit more, you'll still see temperature 0 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If we were to go to one of their most expensive meters, let's say, think of this one, looking at upwards of $600, you'll see at this point, uh, temperature range negative 20 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. So even if you spend the most amount of money, that's the most you're going to get on range. Um, I realize that most of you say, like, hey, I would never need any past that, but I'm just letting you know uh, that the range of the most expensive meter is different than uh, the range of the drop. Uh, so if you wanted to stick this in your car and see how hot it got on a midsummer day in the desert, um, I don't know if they go past 140, but just know that is going to be the limit. So right here you can see a quick screenshot I took uh, of the log on my phone. And what I did is I took the uh, Kestrel, the drop, and I put it in my refrigerator. The line shows 1150, and going backwards it's marking every 5 minutes. So it's uh, going backwards every dot's like 1145, 1140, 1135, 30, 25, and 20. So it's going back half an hour. And you could see that it took a while to get to that final 39 degrees uh, that it stayed at. So just to give you an idea, it doesn't uh, register immediately. So again right here you can see, uh, this is when I took the drop out of my refrigerator. And that yellow vertical line that you see, that is the 435 mark. And it's still set to uh, take readings every 5 minutes. So going back about 3 dots, you can see when I took it out of the refrigerator, that would have made it about uh, 420 or so. And um, at that point, you could see it was still 39 degrees, and then you can see I took it out, and it took a, a good 10 minutes after that even to register to the roughly 69, 70 degrees uh, that was my house. So with that being said, just keep in mind that um, it just doesn't seem to register immediately. Um, I don't know what would happen if it's going through subtle changes throughout the day, like when you actually have it on your pack or, you know, wherever you're using it. Um, as opposed to taking it from something drastic like a refrigerator, you know, and then out into the house. So um, I haven't yet tested it that way, but just to give you an idea that um, it, it may not be super, super fast. So we'll have to figure that out. So uh, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. I know I was looking for a little information on the drops and I wasn't finding it. So I uh, put this together real quick. Hopefully it answers some of the questions that you have. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks.